In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can start a coffee mug business on Etsy. It's probably not as difficult as you might think. This is your first visit to the channel. My name's Tony Newton, and I've been working full time from home for the last 18 years. On this channel, I share tips about how to make money online. So if that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when I add new videos. With that being said, let's jump right in. So there's four steps to this whole process. The first step is to find designs that you can use, okay? Now, as we can see here, the cheapest mugs to get made and the easiest to get designed are when you have black text on a white mug. No images, just black text. These can be simple words or sentences, phrases, like just like these we can see here. And that's the easiest ones you can get made for your business, okay? There's no need to have designers or anything like that. You can basically make it yourself and I'll show you exactly how to do that in these next steps. So that's what we're looking for, simple text that we can add to the mugs. Now, a few ways you can find these. If you just head into Etsy, type in funny coffee mug and you'll see all the results that come up. And what you can do is you can go through each individual listing and you can see how many reviews for these particular uh, mugs have been left, what the ratings are, and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see here when it was listed, which was actually two days ago, and it's probably a, a listing that renews every every uh, so often, depends what they've got it set for. And we can see it's been favorited 644 times. So there's a good chance that a lot of those people who favorited this mug ended up coming back and purchasing. So we can see it's a popular mug. And it, all it says, once in a while, something amazing, uh, someone amazing comes along and here I am. So sarcastic mug. But you can take that exact text, okay? It's not copyrighted, it's just a phrase. And you can use that for your own mug design. Maybe change the font, change the sizing, whatever you want to do, make it look a little bit different. But just keep the same wording because people love that wording, okay? Now, all you would do is go through and find a series of mugs that are popular and get yourself a good list of phrases you can use. Once you've got those phrases, then it's time to move on to step two, which is you need to turn those phrases into an image that can be added to the mug. Now, there's lots of ways you can do this. You can do it in Photoshop or any image editor you might, that you might be used, um, used to using. You can use free online editors like this one. This is called Vector. You can find it at vector.com, completely free. You don't need to sign up and oh, you don't need to pay, sorry. All you would do is click on this text icon, put the text, so you'd literally write that phrase out in black and then you would export to your computer, okay? And when you go to export, we can see it's, it's a background that's clear which is what you want. You want a PNG image that's got a clear background and all that's on there is the text. So all you would do, write the text on there, export it, and then you've got it on your computer. And that's that's step two done. So you found winning designs and you've literally got those designs and you've turned them into images, okay? So now we can move on to step three, which is adding the listings to Etsy, okay? So simply head into Etsy, click create a free account, then you would go down to this link here, which is sell on Etsy. Then what you would do, you create your own store. Give it a name, just follow the simple instructions, really easy to set up. And once you've created your store, you can then go into adding your own listing. Again, really easy to do, in lots of instructions on Etsy showing you how to do that, but basically, this report here shows what to do. And add in your listing, really easy. Click on the add a listing button. Uh, photos is the first thing to add. Now you might be thinking, I haven't created any of these mugs. How do I get a photo of the mug so I can add it to my listing on Etsy? Okay, really easy. All you would do, head over to this website, which I'll show you in a second, inkthreadable.co.uk. Come to this page, which is their mug page. And what you do, you upload your design, 
So the images you've just created, you upload it to here and then you preview the mugs. And what that does is it will show you what your image will look like on the actual mugs. So then what you do, you take a screenshot of those mugs and then you use that in your listing on Etsy. Won't cost you a penny to do. You'll be using Inkthreadable anyway for your business. So they have no problems with you taking those screenshots and using them on Etsy. So that's how to get the actual mock-up designs of your mugs that you can use in your listing. Really easy to do. And again, just follow the instructions through for your listing. You do the listing details and you know you give it a title, description, say it's made to order, put it in the category. Again, just follow the instructions, really easy. Example here of what to include. You can put bullet points in, it's 11 ounce mug. It's a bright white glossy finish, dishwasher microwave safe, printed on both sides, which the mugs are. So it depends which, if you're left or right handed, it will show on both sides. Again, just follow the instructions through, give it a price. A good price is around 9.99 in the UK or 14.95 in America. That will give you a decent few pounds, a few dollars for each one you sell. And again, SKU you don't need, variation shipping. Shipping is important um, because you don't want to lose too much money on shipping. And a good price is 4 in the UK and in the States because it's actually cheaper to ship in the States than it is in the UK with the third party processor, a uh, third party company that I'll show you in a second. And once you've filled in that information, click publish, your listing's live on Etsy. Easy, done. That's three steps done. So now we're on to step four. How do you actually get the mug made and ship it to the customer when you make those sales? Simple to do. Two companies, Printify.com is great if you're selling in America, in the States, and Inkthreadable.co.uk if you're selling in the UK. Create a free account for both of these, and both of them work the same way. I'll show you what it looks like on Inkthreadable. All you would do, upload your image, preview it, make sure it looks good. Then all you would do is order the mug. We can see it's £4.28. We're selling it for £10. So and shipping on top of that. Good money, you know, good profit to be made, four or five pounds on each mug, possibly. You can charge more than 9 95 depends how popular the, the mug actually is. And what you would do, you would order the mug, you would put in the shipping address to the customer that's ordered on Etsy, and you would pay for the mug. So the companies, Printify and Inkthreadable, will now print your design onto the mug and they will ship the mug to the customer. You don't have to touch a mug, you don't have to see a mug, you don't have to ship it. It's all done for you by these third party companies. And once you've shipped the mug, you would come into your account in Etsy and you would mark it as shipped, just so you can see which ones have shipped uh, and you can keep up with orders. And all you do, once they ship it out, they'll give you a tracking number and you come into Etsy, you add the tracking number to the order, the customer gets updated with that tracking number and they can track the order themselves. That's it. That is how to create your own coffee mug business, okay? Four simple steps. First step again, find winning designs. You can go into Google if you want, type in funny coffee mugs, look at the images, see where they're being sold, see how many are being sold, are a lot of people favoriting the mugs, how much are they? You can get all that information completely free. Step two is to create the designs. You can create them yourself as I've shown you. You can use Fiverr to create the designs where you only have to pay once, but you can then sell that same design lots and lots of times. That's step two, get your designs. Step three, create your listings on Etsy. Very cheap, it's like 20p to list, which is about 30 cents to list each mug on there. And that listing can last for months, okay, for that one price. And then each time you make a sale, you pay a transaction fee to Etsy, you pay your third party company, and then after a short period of time, Etsy will pay you that money back, okay? They'll pay you what's left uh, after they've taken their fees. And the fourth step, you go into the third party uh, company, Printify or Inkthreadable, 
and you order the mug and they then ship it out to the customer. Keep repeating that same process, find lots of winning designs and you can basically just come in once a day, any orders that have come in, go to the companies, pay for them to be designed, to be shipped out and keep up with any questions from your Etsy store and add new listings to your Etsy store. Just build those listings up, keep the winning ones, ditch the ones that don't work and you can literally run this in an hour a day, you know, depending how big you want to get. It's a great side hustle, something you can start from home. It doesn't take a lot of time to do and it's a really simple model. It's actually quite an enjoyable one to do and I've done it myself. So that's it. That's how to create your own coffee mug business. If you want this report, which basically goes through in detail, step by step, every single thing you need to do shows you literally uh, everything in order as you're going through to create your own uh, coffee mug business. There'll be a link right below this video. You can go and pick this up. It's very inexpensive, but it will literally show you A to Z, step by step, what to do. So the link to that will be below this video. If this video helped, again, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when I add new videos. This is Tony from hubzap.com, and thanks for watching.